globally about 5% of farmland is actually marginally productive. With the Good Growth Plan, what we are doing is focusing on increasing the productivity of those best acres and then taking a portion of the marginally productive acres and instead creating biodiverse habitats for wildlife and pollinators. Operation Pollinator is a perfect example of one of the collaborative programs we've put in place to honor that commitment to biodiversity. Our Diafa Companies is the largest potato producer in the United States. When we were approached by the National Potato Council and Syngenta to embark on this pollinator program, we saw it as an opportunity to take action and we wanted to do it and do it big. When we farm potatoes and other crops, we use center pivot irrigation. So we have those dry corners, which are typically non-productive. We plant them into grasslands or plant tree habitats. So it was a natural fit for us to convert these dry corners for both wildlife as well as pollinators. Syngenta worked with Pheasants Forever and Applewood to access native flowering seeds, which would fit the northern environment where most of this planting was going to take place. One of the things that we made an effort to do was plant the pollinator seed near where the public could really appreciate it. And so we've got pollinator plantings near public walkways, um, roadsides that have a lot of public access, and people were able to see these fields just come alive. Other farmers, landowners, homeowners have all contacted us wanting to participate. So we've been able to connect them with Syngenta and Applewood seeds so that they can create their own habitats. My personal goal is to see if we can get to a thousand acres of pollinator habitat over five years. Operation Pollinator has been a wonderful success story for us. So often we in agriculture, I think, are misunderstood for what we're doing. And Operation Pollinator is one of those rare programs that brings consumers and farmers together to work toward the common good.